कहाँ पे पावर देते हैं कि आप इतने टाइम के लिए डिस्कालीफाई हो इतने टाइम के लिए वो तो सिर्फ ये बताते हैं कोई शख्स पेपर सबमिट हो रहे हैं उससे पहले बता दिए कि फ्ला कोर्ट से इसको सजा हुई लिहाजा पेपर खारिज दैट्स ऑल मैटर एंड अथॉरिटी डीलिंग विद दिस मैटर हैव नो पावर टू डिसाइड डिसक्वालिफिकेशन पीरियड ऑफ दैट पर्सन वो डिसक्वालिफिकेशन के पीरियड तो सिक्सटी ने बता दिया ये सजा जुर्म करोगे तो इतनी सजा होगी और उस जुर्म की सजा पूरी होने के दो साल बाद जब आप निकलेंगे तो फिर आप क्वालिफाई होंगे तो ये ये आप जो पहला सवाल जो आपसे किया कि डिफरेंस आप डिफरेंस जब बताएंगे तो खुद बखुद पता चलेगा व्हाट इज 62 एंड व्हाट इज 63 तो सो सो इफ 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 62 1f इज जक्सटपोज विद 63 1h h h एंड h बोथ h मॉरल टर्पिट्यूड h मॉरल टर्पिट्यूड है बिकॉज़ वो उसके साथ डिसऑनेस्टी एटसेट्रा वो उसके साथ है मॉरल टर्पिट्यूड बीइंग वेरी ब्रॉड और वो एग्जामिन हुआ सिमिलर बिलीव उसको अगर आप सामने रखें तो the consequence then if they are to be reconciled then the consequence is only one which is that uh, the timeline which is provided for the declaration in 631h must necessarily apply to the time so, to the declaration in 631f h mein agar conviction ho gayi because it attracted an offence and so it led to conviction then he can come back but if it was lesser than uh, even a case where it could constitute an offence and so it, he could not be taken in a criminal case a simple declaration was given on the civil side that goes on unlimited ab yahi samajh nahi aati because otherwise then you i mean we also have to stay away from the concept of reading into the constitution but now that you have started reading in the so, so i was just well, <laughs> that, that is also a question so, so you must stop from reading for them <laughs> reading in yeah, so just okay. another aspect if you can attend to can you read d my lord again he is of good character and is not commonly known as one who violates islamic injunctions mm-hmm. now please read f he is gracious righteous non profligate honest and amin there being no declaration to the contrary by a court of law now ye what does this mean there being no declaration to the contrary by a court of law in clause d and in clause e and in clause g yeah, these say. words are not mentioned that's right so either you say clause d e and g are redundant the meaningless clauses because the words there being no declaration either the same wording should have been followed and i can't at least i cannot understand the difference between good character and sagacious i mean good character is something different from sagacious is good character different from being righteous right is non profligate what does that even mean what does yeah. non profligate mean yeah. what does it mean who doesn't spend wastefully israf yeah to so good character yeah so if you are doing wazu and wasting water you become a profligate because as a hadith of the prophet that's right do not waste water and even if you're standing next to a flowing river yeah. so then he's a profligate so and then we go honest good character every good character person is an honest person i would imagine and amin i mean you know these are words which a muslim would never even dare utter in deference to the holy prophet that only he is and none of us are i mean that is humility and abject humility you will never say that otherwise why would you seek forgiveness for whenever someone dies please forgive his sins do we ever say he is entitled to jannat and allah taala grant him jannat he never committed a sin we don't even pray that for ourselves no honest person will say any of these things that he is sagacious righteous non profligate even the greatest saints in islam was scared when they were dying that they were scared of death because they were apprehensive of what may they be meeting in the hereafter so i don't know is this a generally a wish list kind of situation as opposed to and it because otherwise everybody can if somebody if i was filing a lamination paper and if someone says he's not of good character i would not even challenge it i said i'm sure i've done something wrong in my life maybe i've done wrong yesterday so i don't know so uh, is i do this is if you're honest and you say right this person is right i'm i am not sagacious righteous non profligate honest i do not switch off the lights when i go out of a room i waste electricity 
I waste human uh, resources which the Almighty provides. So where does it end then? You can, it's, you can just, I can bring any case into to disqualify someone and I want to save someone, I can also do the same thing. That's why Should such power vest in judges? And who are themselves humans. That's why uh, they critical. want a greater test for parliamentarians than they have for themselves. Does this language find mention in the oath of office of a judge? That I am not uh, profligate. Does it mention in the recommendations of a judge or it says you have to be 45 years of age, practicing law for 10 years. Could be so, so we have a lower standard than parliamentarians. Why is this language then not reflected there as well? You know, let's accuse ourselves before we accuse anybody else what they are or what they are not. So uh, either we have a much lesser test, we can't, at least I would be very scared to meet this test, terrified to meet this test. <laughs> so uh, I, I, either we don't have a similar test, it's read the co uh, constitution as a living whole and where the constitution has brought down the acts, it clearly says two years, five years, three years, two years, or it's factual, you're not a citizen, fine, that's very clear. There is no punishment here, but you're out. So without a punishment, you're out. There's no punishment. So, but suppose a person is a citizen of Pakistan, not a Pakistani citizen, but becomes a citizen of Pakistan later. Would he stand disqualified for life? Suppose he filed a nomination paper and he had another nationality or whatever, and he got disqualified. Is it disqualification for life? And then subsequently he said, okay, I've surrendered my US nationality and now I want to contest. So I don't know, you have to, we have to read it in a way that is meaningful. And we must bear in mind the conditionalities that were imposed to exclude people from this, I mean, the degree situation. Thankfully, it wasn't there when the Qaeda was around yeah. because he would have been disqualified. That's right. You no, know, he wasn't a graduate. He was a amendment. 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 The question is that uh, while we're looking at DE and G, which to my mind appears to be a guideline for the voters, the actual gatekeepers, and they might keep this in mind when they're voting because nobody can execute them and put anybody behind anything. So D, G, E and uh, G to sir, guideline ho sakti hai, voters ke liye, and that's never been agitated. The million dollar question is how do we look at the line? No declaration to the contrary by a court of law. What do we do with this? I mean, this is my a Lord, constitution. If I, may, if I think I my may. lords have raised the questions. Can we read the law on declarations? What is the law on declarations? Section 42 of the what specific section 42 of the Specific Relief Act. I would imagine character. is that the only declaration that has been indicated here? No. Is not the declaration. No. Or, no. Or, no. or law hota hai declarations ka no, specific no, relief no, act. The only specific relief act, section 42. A legal character ke upar jo hai na, was, that is the only law. Declaratory suits are filed under 62 and section 42. Constitution mein raha. Hmm. Ye to law nahi hai. 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 Hmm. Ye to law in 